Hello, and welcome to Jade Kind Gaming Presents the Observatory. My name is Bob, and this is the 57th episode of the Shadow Kingdom 5th Edition's Dragons and Dragons campaign. I'm joined here with Austin as Mary, Ryan as Mother June, Adam as uh, Herr Wolfgang, and Nick as Maribel. So, last we left off, I believe we're in a, in a dungeon, or not a dungeon, you're in a basement, just chilling. City dungeon. Except, except for, except for him. Oh yeah, except for killing on a roof. He's on the roof because we the will roof. split the party. The roof, the roof is on fire. If Mary Austin used the fireball, of course it is. That's what Mary does. <laughs> we could, we could use some water. Fire. Please stop this mother from burning. <laughs> mm, sewers are basically city dungeons. I play like, tribunal. Like how dare you, uh, you know, spoil my plans. <laughs> What are you doing? What? Spoiling my plan? Are you? No. <laughs> so we were planning to wait till midnight to try to dispel the uh, alarm on the basement door. Okay. With the basic hope that they're actually home and sleeping, oh. as opposed to the fact that we realized that while it seemed like it was very late, we found out it was, what, like 9 or 10 o'clock, which is a time that normal well, people are still awake. Bef before we get to the spelling, what uh, spells are we going to be uh, having? Well, let's go. Excuse me. Very nice. Like, what concentration do we want to go? Mm hmm Well. I mean, are we going to have you with the tech magic and you with Pass Without a Trace or something? I yeah, that seems like a good starting point for sneaking in. Or do we want to dispel magic, then send in a summon? One of my wild shapes in there. The scout. Uh, I mean, yeah, we, we could uh, send a spider in. Well, the problem is, is that the spider wouldn't have access to detecting the alarms. Yeah. Because I, I can go. Well, well, it might not. Uh, spiders might not set it off, but one of her fey spirits might. Yeah. Turns out this dude's a complete psycho and actually had his alarm go off for tiny creatures. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? The dude's paranoid. Yeah, I, I'm good with dispel magic and pass without trace as we sneak through the building with that plus 10. Alright. You good with uh, detect magic? Sure. Unless you have some other concentration spell you'd rather. No, but I'm more more interested in I need to mage armor. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's not concentration. That's mm -hmm. just like eight hours. <laughs> it's a long spell. That gets you up to what, like 12 or 14? That was like 13. 13. 13 plus dexterity modifier. Thirteen. 13. <laughs> nice. So first level spell to get mine above ten. <laughs> hey, sometimes that's all you need. Yeah, no, that's that's that is a consider. That's a fifteen percent increase. Yeah. D to be fair, mine's only fourteen. <laughs> you only need to get hit by an AC, by an attack roll that directly meets your AC once to realize how useful plus one to AC is. Mm -hmm. But we're waiting until then, and we have our spells on tap. So, yep, you've got spells, you're waiting until midnight. Mm -hmm. yeah. And. Or, yeah, you know, 15 so minutes and 4 as we start doing things, casting those, yeah, kind of, yeah. Okay, so you want to. Yeah, whatever. So, is there anything you want to do in the intervening two hours or whatever? <laughs> Unless we want to no. open his chest? No. No, I, I don't think we should open the chest here. No. No. It's right now travel sized. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> uh, I suppose if anything, it'd just be uh, actively taking perception checks to see if I notice anything upstairs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. So as we sit there and think, I what we basically think we found here is more or less his bug out bag, right? Mm -hmm. Does that suggest that if he's running away, if he thinks there's someone breaking in upstairs, he might run right to us here? And I'm relatively sure you've already done an active perception check to hear them upstairs. He did. Yeah. Okay. 
and I got like 20, but it's also over the next two hours in case something changes. Or do I just keep that 20? Let it ride. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things where you're bullying the uh, the check at that point. Because right? uh, you, you, you're basically yeah. checking the exact same thing. Over okay, over. if he's got it covered, I, I was just trying to keep watch. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yes, potentially, that if uh, he thinks that he's being attacked from upstairs and he thinks it's a credible enough threat that he needs to leave, he might be drawn directly into our ambush. But I still prefer sneaking in when he's asleep. We've proven that works. All right. As long as we don't spend, you know, ten minutes at every, you know, couple feet casting silence again. Uh, no, no, we, we failed that because he made his perception check like early into us before we even started doing any of that. Mm. That wasn't because of us taking time casting mm -hmm. silence and stuff. So, yep. Mage armor and ritual detect magic. Mm -hmm. And just in case, it's like we're ready to move on. I will guidance and cast dispel magic. Nope. Yeah, that's that's fine. It dispel magic's not concentration, so guidance works. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so you're dispelling Does the magic. Does guidance give you the an extra dice? Yeah, the D4. Do you want me to... I still do, yeah. And he will roll a 14 on whatever... And 4, so that gives me... 18 uh, uh, before stat. 5, so yeah, 24. No, 23. 23. Okay. Yeah. So you're casting it on the uh, alarm spell with the entwined uh, anchor. Okay. Uh, to dispel both. Mm. <laughs> so you dispel both. Yep. Mm -hmm. the, both of those uh, fell. So, yep. Okay. No, no alarm. Then I cast pass without a trace on us. Mm -hmm. Hold that in concentration. And there you go. Going now. <laughs> to you. You got a message. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, sne <laughs> sneak in and start looking around for sleeping people. Okay. Uh, to be clear, I don't believe I was told to immediately start blasting the place when we're going, right? No. I'm no. still keeping watch. Yes. Okay. Just making sure I didn't miss a, a secret message there. Yeah, no, we still have one more communicate to you. <laughs> okay. I haven't used mine. Yeah, there is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was saying, uh, I think I used mine. Uh, yeah, all quiet topside because I can respond. Mm hmm. Okay, that's all good. I'm not napping, you're napping. <laughs> so, 18.28 for me. Okay. Are the rest of you guys following? Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, we're doing what stuff? Yep. I will have my undead forces um, basically awaiting, sort of tucked aside in the basement for if anyone that's not, they've seen us, anyone not us come through to ambush and try to pin down... Um, Attack and kill. A, yeah, a, a kill if... if, if they, they don't yeah. really... They, they, it's more of like their light switches. On or off. Get to non-lethal. <laughs> They're... In, engulfed, but not heads. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they just beat them unconscious. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're doing melee attacks. <laughs> yeah, they're doing melee. Do we do sure. They probably have intelligence, right? They no. do. Yeah, but uh, Bobas has an intelligence. So one. one. Yeah, one. That's not <laughs> intelligence. You have to be over a three to be considered sentient. The swarm of swarm limbs has three. It's all in his hand, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so they, they clap hands. <laughs> Give each other a help. Okay. That, that's animal intelligence right there. Uh, stealth. I got a 20. Uh, Flat 20. Okay, with the plus ten. Is plus yeah. 10. <laughs> okay. And then so you with your pass route trace I get plus, plus ten. Plus ten, so sixteen. Okay. Pretty good. Well, I mean I rolled a six and I don't have stealth trained and my dexterity bonus is zero. <laughs> okay, so we got two passes and one fail. Which is majority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're sneaking on up. Am I seeing any magic? Did you also do the uh, detect magic? Yes. I, I didn't know that anyone else did, but just oh, Nick did. No, 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 just you did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's. Oh, passed right. He passed without yeah, a trace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I detect a magic. Yes. You detect magic isn't a concentration. Huh? It, it is. is. Oh, well, yep. you couldn't have guidanced yourself then. 
but without losing your detect magic. Guidance is concentrated. He never had. He yep. never had detect magic. I had detect magic. Oh, then he how had passive the spell to dispel it. You, you cast it against the you spell you know of. <laughs> you just have to know it's there. Yeah. Oh, right. Because he has seen it. You <laughs> had to see it for... Okay, never mind. Oh, fine. <laughs> Enjoy your lives. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I was very confused. <laughs> what is it? I'm very mm-hmm. confused, cool though. I'm just a simple feller. Don't ask me to pay attention to the game I'm running. How dare you? <laughs> I'm sorry. How dare you? Very sorry. Okay, so... Uh, as you're moving through, there's like pieces of utility. Uh, there's a couple doors that also have arcane locks on them. Uh huh. Interior or exterior? Well, there's the exterior door does, but there's some uh, interior like cabinets. Oh. Mm-hmm. There's there's a lot of locked doors. Or heck, with my roll, that one's locked. <laughs> <laughs> And as you're moving through, there doesn't seem like you don't see any. Uh, I guess uh, give, go ahead and give me a perception check. Everybody? No, the person with the magic was like. Uh, uh, because you're basic. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, you don't see any like magic. That seems harmful. That mm-hmm. would be like why no other like, like oh we've we've now gone so far and there's another zone of the same thing we just dealt with. There is point. a it, probably the thing that interests you the most is that there's a small about dinner plate sized disc that's resting on the floor that's you notice is magical. It's about an uh, inch to inch and a half tall, and it's on the floor currently. And it's a utility magic disc about the size of a dinner plate. Roomba? Is it like physically like up off the ground? No, it seems you're resting on the ground. Walk around it. If you point it out. It's like what would it look like if I if I didn't have the tech magic? Like what is it? It it's a uh, it's plate. It's a small round disc about the size of a dinner plate, about an inch and a half tall. Hey, okay. Uh, it's made of uh, wood with some carvings in it. Okay. Point out magic, but yeah, yeah. But it's also in the middle of the hallway. No, no, it's in the corner of a room. Oh, okay. Like, you guys are room moving. Up. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like chill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, going through the first floor, peeking in the rooms that aren't locked. Anyone sleeping down here, or? Uh. As you're going through the rooms, it's mainly uh, like a dining room. There seems to be a kitchen that has other utility things, knives, uh, a cleaning stone, which you're familiar with. It's like, just go and touch, you know what I mean? Uh, Kind of basic, like a a preservation on a pantry. Nothing unusual. Nothing unusual. At this point, yeah. At this point, I'm not looking to pocket a bunch of stuff. We're trying to find the person. So, I'm more looking for what is unusual. Uh, um, downstairs, there doesn't really seem to be much unusual other than there is a couple, like, doors. One in particular that is got a heavy padlock on it, and it's arcanely locked, and has, like, steel binding, and it seems to be... But it's the pad- like padlock so locked from the outside? Yeah, it seems to be heavily set into a stone wall. To the point where you can't and, see through the stone wall. And from the general concept of like the wall, the rooms around, and knowing how thick it at least has to be, I'm guessing the size of what would assume some sort of vault that he has. It's about a quarter of the downstairs stairs of the house. Jeez, panic room. It's well, a, the locks well, the locks on the, on the outside. <laughs> so it could be vault, but but well, the stone is thick enough, and the door. Uh, you can't see through it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm guessing, if not airtight, pretty sealed tight. It's sealed into the stone, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Same technology they use downstairs. Of yeah, seems maybe. to be. Yeah. Head but upstairs. There, do we see a, a, you know upstairs? Like, is there? Yes, there are stairs that lead up. Okay. Two story building. Carry on. Okay. So as you go up. One question: When we we're on the first floor, did we see both the fires? 
in the house, like the fireplaces that go up to the chimneys? I mean, you saw a fireplace. Was it, was it on? Occasion. Yeah. Okay. Fake fireplaces. Yeah, I, I didn't know. Devious bastard. I don't know. With all the magic, it could have just been, you know, a gas fireplace or something. But does it look like wood and someone stacked it recently? I mean, it, it's a wood fire. Hmm. I don't know. He's I trying to assess the, how recently someone has been here. I think he wants to take a survival check. Yeah, yeah, survival check. Okay. Just, it's like, is there wood next to the fire that's there? I don't... <laughs> like, he's uh, like, how long has this wood been burning for? Uh, yeah, 23. Uh, did, did a hobbit lay here? <laughs> when he, <laughs> he was dragged across this wood floor. Uh, it seems uh, a couple hours. Yeah, okay. So dying down. It, it seems to be stocked relatively re- uh, often. Okay. Because kitchen fire. <laughs> but yeah, from that could have been when they had dinner, and now okay. they just left it to be a fire in a fireplace. <laughs> produce w- warmth into the lower level of the home. Okay, I'm going upstairs. Okay. <laughs> I, I was just making sure it wasn't like five minutes ago. It's like, those are all full logs that haven't been burnt at all. And they're probably going <laughs> He's to standing out. on the other side of the room, and we just didn't <laughs> spot him. Okay. So, you so still, you couldn't see him. Sneak it, uh, sneak it up the stairs. So as you go up, it kind of... It, the staircase is in between the kitchen and like uh, the living room style area. So as you go up the stairs, it goes up into the middle of a hallway where there's doors on either side leading down. And it, there's uh, four doors. Are any of them arcane locked? All of them are arcane locked. Yes. Are any of them alarmed? None of them seem alarmed. Okay. Uh... You're up to doors? Or? From the, um, before moving forward, from the immediate presence and sort of looking at the floor, is this the kind of thing where there is, say, like, enough dust to tell, oh, it's clearly, like, one of the first rooms because, like, no one walks down to the end of the hall? There is no dust. The house is incredibly clean. Like they have a magic Roomba. <laughs> Almost like they have a magic Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for it's, walking so perfectly into the It's most room. fun because you set it up. <laughs> Just over here going, man, I hope that magic Roomba joke cut pays off. <laughs> <laughs> then I start talking about dust and you're like, yes. Go. Yeah, magic Roomba. Um. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Well, uh, there, there's still other ways that we could tell which uh, particular door might be used. Uh, I was going to go open we, perception, like, listen. Do I see magic through any, we, uh, any walls? or we, we can actually check the doorknobs to see which uh, might have, like, hand oil on it the most. Might be discolored a little bit. <laughs> Just flicking to the door. <laughs> How oily are... I don't uh, know, I figure the brass knobs, door. they could discolor. I mean, like I mean, because I mean, they have fur, I mean, is that... Oh, you're, you're asking me, uh... <laughs> yes. No, we, we, how, we much oil, how much oil do private we, we actually heads. polish brass knobs when we use them. <laughs> uh, why don't we just throw this out there? If you're attempting to check for how o- the oiliest <laughs> handle, based on the oils produced by a hand, I'm going to go ahead and be like, that's a 30. That's a really hard thing to check in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> So first off, is there like evidence of magic inside on you? Like, is the wall thin enough? Like, do I see stuff inside? Uh, yeah, for the walls ain't thick enough. Yeah. <laughs> Particularly if there's any magic, like that's like moving about, like a person is carrying, a, has like a magic amulet on, and they're walking around the room. Particularly that. <laughs> uh, no, doesn't like there's magical stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it doesn't. At, at where you are at the beginning of the hallway, you don't see any of the first two doors. Okay, so so nothing that I'm seeing. That so I'm willing to kind of carry on and see like if I beside any of these, I'm basically trying to catch. Okay, know. go ahead and give me a perception check. While you go around looking for magic. 
I'm gonna be listening at doors while he tries to look for. You can also give me a perception. Natural twenty. So five. <laughs> I want to use <laughs> so as you go wandering around, as I'm like staring at a like wall, I'm trying to see maybe it's use. <laughs> I have ambulatory bunny ears. Yeah, your ears have, have perked up and you're listening, and you just hear this. Sounds like someone chewing in their sleep. <laughs> it's a bunny. <laughs> it fucks bunny. <laughs> Like, that's the sound of a bunny dreaming. <laughs> As, uh, the end of, it's the one on the right at the end of the uh, corridor, you're pretty sure has someone sleeping, sleeping in it. Okay. So. Point to that door, give a thumbs up. Uh, Look confused to you, and then nod like I knew it all along. <laughs> As you get closer and look into uh, the particular room, it seems shielded from people being able to gaze into it with magical sight and the like. But it's the only one that's shielded. <laughs> the rest of them have, like, you can see through to the windows you kill all these folks mm-hmm. and things like that. But that one seems to be blocked. Mm. We did know something about some level of paranoia or something, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he, he Him having scry protection on his bedroom kind of makes sense. Hmm. Now, the question is, do we want to try to break door or call for Mary to come and do we unlock see it? Mary on the roof. Am I close enough? And I believe you're on a roof watching the house, not the yeah. house itself. So. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm across the way. So no. Yeah. Uh, well, I suppose that's a good question, too. Is uh, there a window in the uh, upstairs corridor? No. Okay. Uh, but there probably is. You you can face step of some sort, right? I have Misty step. Yes. And go downstairs and have you contact him and pull up the side of the curtain so you can look in and Misty step through. How would I contact him? Ryan would contact him. (laughs) Actually, um, is this door to his room have the same gap protection? It seems to. But all of the other doors upstairs also had similar inset. Mm -hmm. He put lips on his doors. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, if I wanted in the house, I could get in the house. Without breaking mm-hmm. something? Yes. I'm really good at b and You You do know what that means, right? You, it's literally <laughs> breaking and entering. <laughs> we said without breaking e. something. <laughs> yeah. We want e more E, less B. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> I mean, you could always just go back down to the sewers and come up through there, but if you can get in here with... I can move a hurt for you to get in. Like again, what you haven't asked me. I'm on a roof. Is yeah. somebody contacting me, telling me to come inside, and also why? To unlock a door. Oh, <laughs> door specialty. <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose that'd probably be the quietest method of us getting to him. So yeah, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll have to. Hell, w- when he gets up here, you can drop silence. Because I don't Hasn't know how long problems before. Not if you actually cast it first. It's ten minute cast in you know the hallway. Yeah, the thing that the we have to do is get away from him so he doesn't make a perception check with probably disadvantage since he's sleeping. I'm guessing mm-hmm. uh, to get away from him so we can actually like use the sending stone to talk. Yeah. I mean we can still be quiet. Yeah, I'd say go down the stairs and yeah. do that. Back in the basement, if need be. But yes, contact that point outside. Now go ahead and contact Marion. Tell him uh, we need you to. We need you to come in to the house in order to unlock his bedroom door for us. Uh, 
if you want to go the safe way, you can come back up through the sewers. If not, we'll try to find an unalarmed entrance. How long would it take me to get back in if I used the sewers? Like five minutes max. Okay, so not that long. Yeah, I'll just do it that way. <laughs> five, ten minutes. I mean, it wasn't terribly far from an entrance to the sewers. And yeah, I'll do it that way. Mm -hmm. And yes, I, I can just mage hand on the other side of the window to open the shutters and then teleport in that way. Well, uh, the, the other problem was the alarms. Yeah, I can mage hand on the inside of the window. Yeah, just move the curtains out the way. Mm. It's like yeah. I have hand, hand goes up and pulls the curtains aside. And then it's like I totally can. I have that power. But yes, this one will see my spell slot. <laughs> like a peasant. I mean, I don't. I fly like a king. <laughs> It's like, I'm out of boost and want to keep us silent, so... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for him to show up. Mm -hmm. Okay. If, if we're doing that, I'll, again, back down in the basement, just recast Detect Magic Ritual to get that going again while we're waiting on him to... Alright. So, you show up, and he's about five minutes into his little ritual dealio. For... What's he doing? Detect Magic. Oh, another one of those... Because we're going to take you five minutes to get here, that was going to eat up the rest of my time. Uh, it looks like uh, the guy's got his room um, protected from uh, people looking into oh, it. sweet. I still choose you. You also get a plus ten to stealth. You one seems within 30 feet of you. Yes, once uh, went and, down. And yeah, yeah. And when, if you guys break off from being in a group, yeah. it, it drops. I, I just didn't know if I could add people afterwards. Yeah, like, no, we just have to stay close to you. Big sneaky. Mm -hmm. uh, so pick a lock? Yeah. Or are we waiting? Well, wait for him, then go up and pick a lock. Huh. Yeah. I stare at the lock. Analyze its uh, inner workings so that if I fail, I can blame it on the lock shot of construction. Mm -hmm. But before we go up, I whisper to him and give him inspiration. Ho ho. Okay. Whispered inspiration. Uh, you're D6 still, yeah? Uh, I'm at a D8. Uh. Okay, so you guys go back upstairs, so I'm going to need a stealth check for you, which with a plus 10. Do I get to choose to use the uh, inspiration? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, okay. you choose what's... Uh, Within the next on. 10 minutes, you can use it on any of the available checks. Yeah. Uh, there we go, I got a 3. Plus an 18. So 21? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had to counter that. I'm hoping you also counter the Austin with the uh, opponents. Because what are the chances of him being able to roll a 14? On an important... Well, not high. What are you what? talking about? Did you... You had me use the 14 on you. I have a four now. Oh, I thought you had two 14s for the day. My no. Oh, okay. <laughs> also... You you're not the you know that that was his stealth right? Yes, and okay. I'm talking when he got up there. If oh. He had another oh, fourteen. So we're just jumping topics. We're going to the next topic, not necessarily jumping. But yes. Well, st stepping topics. It was the next one. You didn't go over it. Yeah. <laughs> just didn't leave the original one. Mm -hmm. it, this is a car crash of a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just one vehicle now. No, <laughs> we're moving ahead. Okay, so y'all sneak it, sneak it back upstairs to the door. He shows you which door. You're at the door. There's a door. It's got a lock. Is it locked? It is locked. I try to open it. Okay. I get a natural 20 plus bonuses. <clears throat> oh, I rolled a. I pulled out the 8. eight got an 8 on the 8, too. Uh, so that's like a 34. So you walk up to the door... It's locked. You look at it and go... <laughs> and through the powers of magical fairy bullshit, <laughs> it just clicks open. And that kid just, he just you do not sticks his deep horn deep right deep in there. That. That's why you don't make deals with fairies, kids. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll break into your house, stab you, and rob you? 
Nah, he probably cut. He probably cut some deal with some stupid fairy way back in the day for like a sucker or some other sweet. So ruins your locks. <laughs> <laughs> you brought the key. Wait, gave the to the lock? No, it goes to the key. <laughs> what? Have you never had a fairy lock before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was basically like the Green Gods Goblin of. If anyone but a goblin touches that door, you're just like, oh, fairy lock. <laughs> <laughs> and open it does. <laughs> so the door is unlocked but still closed to give you, let you guys decide what you're going to do now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just saying I didn't close space. That worked pretty well. Hold, holding them so that they're not like all rattling around. I pull out my manacles and kind of hold on to them. <laughs> ah, take him prisoner, of course. Well, no, it's just we have to keep him prisoner long enough to kill him <laughs> because you know the way that all people of influence get away. They try to run away. Yeah. So, like a I, smart person. I point at door, then all of us point in room, then point at door <laughs> again. We yeah. rush the room and close the door. If only we had like an innuendo spiel or something. <laughs> okay, so you're going through the door into the room? Yeah. Like, there's a lot of pointing. Are you going in? Are you staying Yes, out? we are going in. Okay. So, any marching order or just in and rush? Whose actions are the least valuable for taking a guy? Are you staring at me with that? <laughs> I, mean, I feel like you've got spells that could help. No. <laughs> no, it's Adam's spell list. He doesn't take those. And like lightning bolt. But that's not counter a... spell. And counter spell can be. But that's a reaction. reaction. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have I have scorching ray. Of course. <laughs> I'm a genius. I'm the voice of a generation. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, I can I can. Lead the charge. Yeah, because I, I have both hold person and heat metal, so. They really shaft me. I didn't get any purple ones. So, you got all go in? I, yeah, I mm -hmm. open the door. What do I see? I have the tech magic up. Uh, you see a uh, sleeping form that has some nature of uh, magic emanating off of it. That's, uh... What would it be? Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, it's got, uh, like, it looks like uh, a single... He has, like, a magical tattoo. I don't know how to describe it with magic type. <laughs> There's a magical tattoo. It depends on the type of magic. You don't know what the tattoo does? Yeah, it doesn't tell me what kind of magic it is. Very rude. Outrageous. Very hurtful. There's a tattoo on him. It appears to be magical. About what percentage of his body would we say it covers? Uh, it seems like a lower arm on okay. one side. Not too much, okay. But that's like the only magic that seems to be like part of. Uh, there's a weapons belt that's dangling at the end of his bed uh, that has a holster on it and a bandolier with a uh, blade. One of those classic throwing blades? Yeah, you, you know, your classical throwing short sword. And there's a very, very uh, common. holstered uh, hand crossbow on it. So the whole rig seems to be magical. Do I have the concept that the magic that lets them return their throne blades is, in fact, their bandoliers that they carry them on? I mean, you do now that you say that out loud, but yeah, it, it's been an entire time that it was the bandolier, not the blade. Yeah, it's the sheets, yeah. Whoop. But more importantly, he does see magic. Does he see a hair and go? Oh, there's a sleeping form that seems to have mm. ears. <laughs> Like big tile pointy ears? Or side of the head. Floppy kind ears. of down. Just like <laughs> oh, it's laying down. 
You're not sure how gravity will affect the ears yet. And I kind of sneak over to basically where the, the bandolier is. Um, All right. It's uh, hanging off uh, the side of the bed. And with the thought that it may make noise when maneuvered, I basically ready my action to take it away Okay. once they do their thing. Okay, so you're set up to snap. To so basically make snap. it where he can't yeah. get up and... Because I'm guessing foot of the bed, it looks like the well, it's, get up and... Well, it's next to him. Yeah, basically, basically like where he would get up and grab right from yeah. yeah, so basically I'm preparing to... When he tries to do that, I'm removing Excuse it from me. his ability to do so. Let's go. That, is, that is my readied action. Uh, I will come in and ready up Dispel Magic versus him. If he moves or wakes up, Dispel the Magic. So I need one of you to wake him up, so this will trigger. Much Other, magic. Uh, the one on his arm that... Adam can see? That he pointed so out. All I did out? was, was oh, I pointed an arm and went like this. Okay. Whether or not... I didn't know what you were doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what <laughs> I got is... Dispel magic. It's like you're communicating okay. with me. You can only be a couple things. Yeah. Insults are telling me to dispel magic. Yep. I'm going to assume it's a spell magic. Okay. So you're... I've... Basically, cast a spell. Magic. Well, yeah, yeah, you're holding it. Mm hmm. For when he wakes up. Okay. So, uh. Ready to snatch, just spell magic? Uh, I will go ahead and activate my mantle of majesty as a bonus action. Okay. Which. Doesn't that, does that produce do light? Do you bring in glowing? Nope. Then produce any light. Uh, <laughs> trumpets start blasting. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I, I do not believe that it has any actual like auditory or we'll light just call it properties. Majesty because we're pompous. Because mm. <laughs> bards. Yeah, well, let's look at the actual wording this and see if it has anything to do with that. Uh, I'm just preparing mine slower. And shut the door behind you. If I shut the Parents door, I'd have to come inside the room. You concentrate oh. as if you were concentrating on the spell. During this time, you can use the command as a bonus action on each of your turns without extending the spell slot. Any charm creature automatically fails the same throw against the command with this feature. Once you use this feature, you can't use it again until long rest. Yeah. Is so mine slower a reaction? or No. So, no, nothing about it giving off light or making noise. Okay, so you're just very majestically standing in the dark like a weirdo. <laughs> well, you said it's my bonus action, and then I'm going to move forward, and he's still sleeping, right? Yeah, there's okay. to be. Then I'm going to use my action to manacle the guy. Okay, his hands and everything are under covers, like he's sleeping. Do bundles up tight. Well, how many people sleep with their hands like on top of the covers <laughs> laid out flat? You sleep you, like you this. did not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you sleep like. To be fair, part. I don't know if he had covers on when he was doing that. He was he was covering his vital organs, and that would be a great spot to handcuff him. You, you're yeah, vulnerable yeah, with he's that. He's not sleeping like Vic. His, his body <laughs> hey, is I under the covers outside my own home. <laughs> his so body don't... is under the covers. Yeah, okay. So just rip him off and start trying to manacle. That should, might wake him up, but I'm sure, whatever. Could, there's a slide of hand still a thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can try to slide a hand them on without waking him, okay. which would be like removing the covers and getting the manacles on him quietly. Yeah, I'll I'll attempt it. Fifteen plus six, twenty-one. Okay. Five I'll always percent. forget Asleep you percent. have so much dex. What's dex? It's that thing other people have. Mm. I thought that was strength. Well, they oh, also yeah. have You're that. also... A, you're both 20 charisma, 20 dex, aren't you? Okay. He, uh, <laughs> he appears to be still asleep. Nice. <laughs> Right. It has to wake up if I want to shoot him, though. Yeah, we're all, we all react. You have to wake him up so we can take our turns. So we don't waste spells. Okay. So it's a okay. cantrip. I've got the guy manacled. Yep. All right. So we're going to... And as you uh, 
pull it back and you're manacling him, you get a good look at his arm, and it appears to be a iron rod pulling electricity into it. Is yeah. what it looks like it is. Anyways, my ready to action was technically until they made their move. So that move has been made, so I'm yeah. lifting it, and I'm not trying, I'm trying to still be quiet if I can, but... Well, you can slide a hand at two. Sure, that's more fun. Go for the decks, go for the decks. I mean, it's not negative, right? You got a 14. No, it's just nothing. See, that's good. Mm-hmm. 14 is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he's still asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody else think we were prepared for this? <laughs> no, we've not overprepared. <laughs> we have reacted in accordance with the universal laws of this land. <laughs> Listen, sometimes <laughs> everything goes as planned. This is not my fault. <laughs> we prepared it all not in one. I can, like... <laughs> can I coup de gras this sleeping dude? He is asleep. You fucking can. It's not coup de gras. You just do criticals automatically. Mm. Also... With the covers off, is this a herring gun? It is a herring gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is this is a young elf maiden. <laughs> I didn't bother to tell you. <laughs> of course it's a herring gun. Yeah. <laughs> Just prepare to action. Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah basically. It's like... Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Flame dagger and everything. Yeah, you guys can all get a free autocritical on the herring gun if you would like. Mm-hmm. He's uh, lying down, manacled, <laughs> unconscious. <laughs> as you all stand above his bed. As you're all unarmored. <laughs> Let's see. How does incapacitated work? It's within five feet, right? Yeah. yeah. Within five feet is not a crit if they're uh, uh, incapacitated or unconscious. Is that only melee attacks? Yes. Damn. So I can't just walk up and squirt and blast him right in the face. Mm. Uh, no, no, it would still work because he's unconscious, right? And it's melee attacks. It's w- attacks within. I think it's melee attacks within five feet. Yeah. Auto credit. Uh, With the idea that you are carefully lining it up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it attacks with the creature has advantage. Any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the attacker was within five feet of the creature. Oh wait, no, that's that. Yep. That's, oh. that's paralyzed. Yep. Yeah, no, no. Any so, as long as you get close enough, doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as you stand there pointing your yeah, he's not paralyzed, though, right? No, but he's unconscious. Yeah, but that's just incapacitated. Which just no, 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 unconscious is its very own condition. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it? Yep. Yeah. So it is. Is incapacitated and can't move. Oh, it also gets paralyzed and incapacitated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you can move as long as you're within five, five feet, feet. Go ahead and cast whatever spell yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah. You can you can auto crit with the spell if you want within five feet. That them's the rules. I need attack that hits. I still have to roll to hit. And you get advantage on it. Yeah. <laughs> Though, and we want to kill him. Five feet Wait, we want to kill him? Range. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And no, Do I'd we be, want no one to hear it? I'd be at normal because it, he's I mean, technically it doesn't say there's thunder he's yeah. prone, so accompanying lightning yeah. bolt. <laughs> Just use your flame dagger. Fine. But I get... All right, we do not know what level this guy is or how many hit points he has. True. So doubling my 8d6 of lightning damage seems like the most efficient way to make this not fail. I have used this spell. It doesn't specify. Does lightning bolt have, like, a thunder sound with it? If it doesn't say that it does. If it doesn't say it specifically creates a sound, no, it doesn't. Yeah, okay. because a lot of those others, 150 Do. feet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah lightning bolt, unfortunately, then I does will... not have much flash and bang. Yeah. Um, I just mind sliver him regular style. Start with... Mm. Mm-hmm. Wait, is it only if it's an attack roll that it... Ah, very good question. Any attack that, Any hits, attack the that hits the creature is a critical hit. So, so that's an AoE, so that's not yeah, really Yeah, no rolls to crit with. Yeah, it's a save is what it is. Yeah, yeah that's an AoE. Okay. So yeah, it would have Darn to, it. But you got whatever searing... Uh, scorching ray. Yeah, scorching ray. So that would actually still work. But I have to get up next to him. Yeah. And then roll attack rolls. Which he have advantage. Yeah, so at that point I might as well use yeah the flame thing. Nope, range attacks. I have penalty. He's prone. I roll flat. Ah, that's true. Yep. As you sit there and put your finger like ah. a half inch from his face. Sneeze. Ah! <laughs> I would like to point out he's not wearing armor. <laughs> that's true. 
<laughs> his eight C probably pretty low right now. Okay. So At then I get ready with the flame tongue. <laughs> then I get ready with the flame tongue, having realized that. Okay. But I wait for them to all be ready to go as well. I'm okay. Just, yeah, I'm gonna use a dagger. I don't have any fancy magic attacks. In case you survive, I'm still spelling this electrical arm thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've already spent it. I can't do anything else. <laughs> I've cast my third level slot. But if we kill him, it might be an object that we can take. Here. Good point. Okay, so where are you cast? Okay. Mind sliver. Mind sliver. Okay. Damage. Yeah, intelligence save. Okay, you know that that won't double damage, right? Yeah. Because it's a save. Okay. I also don't have to be in the ring with him. Me. You're still just out in the hallway. Okay, so how much damage does your sliver do? 2d6. 2d6. 7 psychic damage. Okay, 7 damage. Ooh, Come here, nooks. No, there it is. Okay. So. I get a 17 on my dagger attack. Yeah, that sh that hits. <laughs> Shocking. Shockingly, shockingly I'm guessing hits. dagger is finesse. Yeah. I guess your dex is better than your strength. <laughs> Zero mm -hmm. versus negative one. So you doubled the dice? Yeah. I mean, it's one D4. It's so. a D4. Yeah. Should have brought a robe with us. <laughs> so how much did you... Uh, ideal 12. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. My flame tongue adds the extra magic damage. It's extra dice. It doubles. Six to attack. <laughs> with advantage? Oh, advantage? Oh, no, not with advantage. Six to attack. With advantage. <laughs> By rolling six on both of them. <laughs> you stab the pillow. It's on hold on, fire. hold on. Yeah, uh, does it set uh, objects on fire? No. Uh, don't believe so? No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Does he wake up? Yes! <laughs> Dispel magic. Okay. If it's three or below, it just... At this point, I'm probably, like, wearing his, his bandolier <laughs> and, like, have a flaming dagger right by his face. Uh, the tattoo seems to darken. <laughs> like, yep. it, it is affected, but it's still on them. Yep. Just I don't care. Whatever it was, hopefully it wasn't a te- Well, even if it was a teleport, hopefully it's, you know... Dampened now. Okay, he's now awake and very angry. Initiatives? He is manacled <laughs> in bed, butt naked, with none of his stuff. <laughs> it's a bare hair. Just so, no, you just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Once he does he stand up? He certainly tries. Does he get from out from pro? That probably very briefly. Uh, the scorching ray right away. <laughs> <laughs> if you need, I was planning on grappling him. So if you need me to hold him up for you, I can. It do doesn't that. matter. As soon as if he ever gets not prone on my turn, I'm just going to blast him immediately with my last spell slot. Okay. Uh, I'm a dick. Heat metal, which is like eighty six. He doesn't have any metal, right? <laughs> he has. Metal medicals. Oh. Yeah. So as you burn and torture <laughs> this poor herring gun, and he screams okay. ever so loudly. Uh, what is th so? What's he stream? What was the name of our um, necromancer friend? Ooh, it's been like six years. Oh, sure. Anyways, sends so his long. regards. <laughs> Don't Insert me. name of necromancer friend sends his regards. That's a nice little toad in the zoo that says hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, Winslow Cardi. Yeah. Cardi. Winslow. Yes. Uh, so ends, uh, uh, Elwood Hall, the leader of the Fallon Blades. Oh, he had a name. Cool. Yeah. That's how you know he was a real person. I've got, like, Probably two paragraphs of notes about his behaviors and where he's been traveling, and <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and <laughs> delete, delete all that. <laughs> no, no, that's foolish. Copy two paste. seeds later, paste. <laughs> learn, learn the ways of a deer. <laughs> uh, Tony's still outside, keeping an eye on the streets. And uh, as you check in with Tony, you can't seem to hear any of the screaming that's supposedly coming from this house. <laughs> oh, Nito, the walls are soundproof, guys. 
<laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, homie. <laughs> yeah, it would be a very terrible place to face an awake foe. Too bad you ain't got one of them. <laughs> I, I now feel vindicated. We successfully got Gustav. <laughs> <laughs> we have defeated the boss. The yes, the system. boss Gustav. <laughs> this none is how this, that was supposed to go. None of this pansy knight or gang boss. No, Gustav, we defeated him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we successfully assassinated the enemy gang leader. Yes. Uh, and no one knows where he lives, so... People probably aren't going to find out for a while as we ransack and just steal everything. Yeah, we're definitely looting this house. <laughs> yeah, we got to uh, There's one thing you know that there definitely is. A key probably to that A building. magical Roomba, that's right. <laughs> a magical Roomba, and also a heavily padlocked door that we can take our time breaking. Uh, once, a, once a corpse is animated, um, I can just add them to the orb? Yep. You can animate them through the orb like it's uh, your spellcasting focus. Okay, so yeah, so use, use the orb as a focus and they get added through. Yeah. So uh, while you guys look, I spend my minute to animate myself a new zombie. Uh, it's heavily Skeleton? Scorched. Skeleton would be easier. You could zombify it, but it would be horrifying. <laughs> it's gotten, like, stabbed multiple times. It's been severely burned. Does it's that like, increase its ability to intimidate or something? What are you trying to tell me? I don't. No, I don't see. I'm them. just saying it's. It's like okay. You're just trying to make sure that I know this is a zombie that when someone walks uh, upon it in the library desk, they're gonna know it's a zombie. They're Thank definitely you. gonna know it's a zombie. Uh, okay, that I understand and accept. Okay. And, and it doesn't look a whole lot like the boss anymore. It's almost like yeah. You might want to keep it as a zombie because the zombie could still have a magical tattoo. Yeah. Oh, uh, when he dies. Uh, vile needle, you know, mm. yeah. falls out of his oh, arm. Okay, you're taking it. Well, well, we, need we, we need to identify, it, but you're yeah. taking it. Yeah, I'll, I'll okay. take it for now. Because you also already have the the bug out bag. Yep. So, yeah, it's yeah. Like, I believe we brought along the extra uh, bag of holding. So. Yep, I get that. Uh, as you go through the bandolier, the bandolier has a sword and there's a dagger on the back of the post. Like, there's a sheath attached to the back of his bed that has a dagger in it as well. Oh, his panic? Someone stole my bandolier of things? <laughs> yeah, it, it's like basically uh, attached to the back of the bed post. There was a dagger that he didn't <laughs> see because it was covered by the bandolier, but it didn't really matter. <laughs> when we manacled him so he couldn't get to it. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And, and it's a short sword. There's a short sword on the bandolier and a holster with a hand crossbow. Okay, I'm taking I'm taking the short sword and bandolier then. <laughs> take it off while you put it on. <laughs> yeah, you're a bard. You can use that. Yep. It's like, I just proficient. had it to make sure that he couldn't get it. Yeah, I'm proficient <laughs> with it. <laughs> Like once you're done with your zombie, I'll spend my time helping you investigate so we get all the stuff. Um while we're sort of starting investigating here, you can either try the other locks up here or go downstairs to the um vault to try that lock. I'll try the locks up here first. Okay. Yeah, there's a possibility we may so, come uh, up the keys. As you're looking it over, uh the sword seems like it's like a plus one. So it's magical, but it's not like big uh, woo-woo magic. It okay. seems like a standard sword. But when you look at the hand crossbow itself and you pull it out, it's a uh, deep amethyst color. And the bow limbs are kind of in the shape of dragon wings. If this isn't hmm. magical, I'm going to get angry. So it's something that you guys need to look into a little and figure out exactly what it is. Yeah, that we have two people to, you know, back-to-back -back cast to identify when time comes. I mean, honestly, if you guys want to, I don't know how long you're spending here, but you're relatively certain what with Tony outside that no one heard you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we're stripping the place bare? Multiple trips, if need be? Uh, once we get into multiple trips, we're calling in actual, like, other members to come and help us. I mean, if there's bags here and we have bags, remember, we have uh, now a zombie 
Uh, yeah, I don't know how much the bonus can carry. Well, no, 16 strength, actually. They can probably drag you, along. You do have corpses to drag things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, drag as you're going through the room, you find 500 uh, gold. Uh, 100 of it's in platinum, the rest of it's gold. Uh, so, 10 platinum coins and mm-hmm. 400 gold, I should phrase yeah. that. That probably would have made more sense. Yeah, That's we understood. 100 platinum would okay. be... Super no. neat that you didn't sell what you found. No, of course not. That was that was what we said. You said we found one hundred gold worth of platinum. Yeah, we know what that means. Uh, can we? You find a nice set of uh, pitch black armor. That's uh, studded leather armor. I was about to say I could wear that, but I'm a smi- slice character smaller than he is. <laughs> hmm. Well, is uh, this magical? Uh. It would be. I mean, you guys all have the tech magic that you can ritual cast, so me going, I don't know. I assume that you're all using it to search. You will, except it, for me. I can't do it. Okay. It, 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 it would be a magical set of uh, pitch black, like a void sucking darkness kind of armor. Okay. And it's medium? Yes. Oh. Molly's, Molly's short. small. Oh, yeah. Small, small, Molly. Small. All the sneaky people are small. <laughs> yeah, gives us no actual bonus, but we are. <laughs> I might be able to wear it. Yeah, you're not a sneaky person. I'm okay. She she does have plus five dex. I don't know. Might, might be better to check up with much, Owl right? as far as resizing magical. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's like no, I'm I'm armor proficient. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's. Oh, bags. way to resize it, for sure. Yeah, there's it, there's bags, there's uh, standard clothing. Uh, there seems to be, like, uh, you know, sneaky, sneaky clothes, but mainly it's a lot nicer uh, styles of clothing. Uh, I will take some pieces for my disguise kit that I think would fit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, being... Herringen, would it fit normally? Oh. I mean, yeah, mostly. There's not a whole lot of... Like, the weirdest thing is the pants have backwards uh, bending knees, I think. Because Herringens have knees that bend forward, or they have regular people legs. I mean, that's fine. I can have them redone. It's like, I can, can resold so so the like, legs. The <laughs> slack on them is a little weird, but that's kind of a wear issue. Mm-hmm. All right, so we got some nicer clothes, got some money, pitch back armor, we got the hand crossbow and the dagger and the. Um, Did you get any of the other doors up here, here unlocked? Sword. We haven't moved on from yep. Ryan because we're doing our investigation for like, keys and other oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. So go ahead and give me an investigation for key. Investigate. Uh, I give you guidance and I help to give you advantage. Guidance is deep. Yeah. Plus one. Uh, Twenty-five. Okay. As you're looking through uh, his stuff, and you notice that, like, he had that knife hidden behind the bedpost. And as you're kind of going through, when you reach, look down underneath, and like you reach underneath there, there's. Uh, something pressed up into the underside, and as you pull it out, it's a leather wrapped key ring. So, like, the keys are wrapped in leather so they quiet. stay together and stay quiet. But there's uh, four different keys on it. Hand those over to Austin. Hooray! A whole ring of keys! <laughs> I probably won't have to pick the locks now, which is good because I might have been bad at that. I don't know. <laughs> now, we saw how amazing you were, but. Yeah. I clearly know what I'm doing. There's one key that looks like it has like kind of rotten teeth on it. <laughs> I know where this one goes. <laughs> yeah, but we're just going through because of the lollipop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, keys have teeth. Get it? It's a fair joke. It's fine if you don't get it. We're a little. More it's not quite as good as is a bell. We're we're, we're a little more. 
Her <laughs> friend is literally made of puns? Like, yeah. that's where their magic comes from? No. It's the key to this success. It wasn't even a fairy lock until he said it. I'm like, that's funny, sure. <laughs> you have to explain that role somehow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. This entire adventure has been, how can the gang jack up the role? Any role they want. <laughs> okay. Whatever. So you have keys. Go and check the doors. Yep. Okay. So as you open them, they seem to be just kind of... They're just bedrooms. There's not really anything in them. I mean, there's like a bed. But well, do they lock from the inside? Uh, they do. Yeah, and yeah, they're probably just... This is probably like a general safe house. Yeah, it's just a bunch of bedrooms that lock. So, Roombas can't open doors inside the room Do they look... Like they've not been touched. Uh, they would be. A little dusty. Yeah. So they're just the spare rooms. Well, I give them the casual toss. You just open things, check for clothes, check under there. It's like a hotel room. It's pretty yeah. much empty. Just a Bible. Throw all the Bibles away. Yeah. <laughs> huh. What deity are they to? <laughs> uh, Jesus. Oh, well, they have spear. I don't. Yeah, we're not. Just, just we, give you. It's fine. The gay in society, man. They get everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, there's not much in any of them upstairs. Which uh, one key opens all of the doors upstairs? They, Definitely a safe house. It wasn't the uh, the the bedroom key. And I still have more. Keys. And there were th- you yeah, had there more were keys. Three. There was four keys. One key opens his bedroom door. Yeah, One key opened the other three, and we have two more keys. And there were three locked doors downstairs, right? Yeah. And One. then there was the vault. Well, I, I thought I thought two and the vault. Okay, well, so yeah, two. Well, yeah. One of them's probably to the basement door, potentially. Well, we go for it. Well, it's also out. possible that the all the just normal arcane locked ones were the same key like these were. Mm-hmm. That could be. Didn't he arcane lock, like, his kitchen cabinets? There was basically. <laughs> a oh yeah, one of them was door. the the pantry door. Yeah, one of them was the. Hmm? So we could go and check out what the it's in the pantry and then try to figure out if one of these keys goes to the vault. Mm-hmm. Yep. We'll have uh, to go downstairs and see where the other keys go. Besides that ring of keys, do me and Adam find anything else in the main bedroom? Uh, with twenty five, I believe. Well, you were that was for finding the keys. Presumably, with what we found, we found what we're finding in there. Anyways. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh, uh, would we be able to search for different stuff, like um, m- maybe any records that he'd have on his uh, activities? The records you would have found are heavily encoded and would take some time to even attempt to read. Well, that sounds Abbott's like a, problem. <laughs> that sounds like a good job for Hannah. <laughs> Right. Isn't Evan our code guy? Uh, well, he can do it. I think she's technically better at it because she deals with forgeries. Maybe. Not not sure. Yeah. It's definitely in that. All right. So, Vic, there's doors downstairs. Yeah. Do you check them? Wanting to hold the vault. You check the door. Okay. Hold the vault to last because it is the most likely to have additional security measures. Well, I'd just go on whatever's closest to the stairs. Uh, probably the pantry door. Then yeah. So two uh, keys. Yeah. Uh, one of the keys doesn't work. You try the other key. And it unlocks and opens. And as you open it, it lights like a soft uh, golden light. Is that lift off here? Can we take the <laughs> and it seems to be lighting up the shelves. And there's this beautiful amber cover color as you just see lines of dusty bottles of different kinds of bourbon. Hmm. It seems like he had a very extensive bourbon collection. There were, you know, there were bags that we got from up? Yeah. So, um... Well, I worked hard. I deserve a drink. And, uh, my Harrington zombie will will work on carefully stacking away. (laughs) So, as you go into the bourbon uh, area, as you're a fantasy Kentucky native, and you're looking through. There's one bottle there at the end that's Grandpappy Von Wrinklers? 
Real high dollar stuff? Well, Pappy Van Winkle is like very, very good uh, bourbon made by Buffalo Trace. So, yes. <laughs> it it's is also like the $5,000 a bottle uh, in, in the market bourbon. Knowing full well how valuable that bottle is, and knowing full well that I have no true appreciation for bourbon, I start drinking it. <laughs> so, as you wander around sipping or chugging, eh, it's okay. <laughs> As an absolute plebeian. <laughs> <laughs> just a dozy out of cheap- James Bean. <laughs> just cheaper, cheapest drunk around. I was like, I sit there and drink every day. I don't care. Paint thinner will do. <laughs> you have a, a thought in your mind that this will definitely annoy the shit out of Innkeeper as you keep sipping away at it. Could you use some soda? <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's a little, a little bland. Like, maybe I should save some, ask for him for a soda, and then pour it into the soda in front of him. Like, <laughs> empty the bottle into it, so he doesn't get even get a sip. <laughs> Wait, does our world have soda? Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, I don't. I don't. I mean, it's magic. I, mean, I don't know. We could. They could find a way to. I mean, carbonated corporate liquids is not a new technology. Yeah. I'm almost sure shape water could do it. Yeah, yeah it's just honey syrup. I like it. <laughs> Honey based. That's that, that. I'm sorry. That that. A lot of your stuff is silly and stupid. But that to me is the same revolution as I had when, if we have magical items, and we have guitars with magic batteries, why can't we have electric guitars? We absolutely can. I know. I was like, magical world electric guitar. That's what I want. And magical world. We could still get soda. That's what I want. <laughs> and realistically, the reason we don't have that sort of music in a magical world is that requires a deconstruction of what music is in order for somebody to go, yeah, that squealing noise is awesome. Well, yeah, but I like that for fair, society. There are a way more actual like hardcore musicians in colleges just to music and magical music. I would think they would have that. Yeah. Well, you, you remember, can, you you remember can look how long into the electronic guitar scene at a later point. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's my world. Quit Think stealing how long, it. long we spent in the symphony age with the with that. It takes a while for people to get to the and, and idea it, of I'm going to start. Deconstruct- anyway, so okay. uh, what's the next locked door? <laughs> so the next locked door opens up into uh, it seems like a how do I describe it? It's not. It's not exactly an armory, but it might be storage of some nature, where there's just a lot of bandoliers. There's probably 10 or 15 more magical bandoliers in it, with specially made short swords. (laughs) They're all plus one, roughly. Well, no, those aren't. Okay. Most of the short swords aren't magical. Okay. All right, so 15 of them? Yeah. Help oh, pile over with, and with some bonus standard or. short swords. Well, or uh, are they? You said they were specially made for the throwing property. Yeah, they're they're uh, throwing. They're short swords with the throwing property because I'm a child. <laughs> I think it's funny. I watched Lady Hawk at a formative hey, age. Man. <laughs> they're they're, numer- they're numerically superior. Okay. So load that into the bag. And then there's just the last door, which is the big bolt style door. Does it have a key? Hole? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a padlock. Padlock. It has a lock on it. Do I have the key? Yeah, uh, you seem to have the key. Oh yeah, we open that baby up. So as you take the padlock off. If we off, haven't already actually probably pause and detect recast detect magic, make sure we're ready to with how big this area is. <laughs> be ready for whatever else might come up. Okay. So you lift it and you move the bolt. So this was a completely mundane padlock? It was magical. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Big hurricane walk on. Uh, so you push the door open. Mm-hmm. It opens up into a room that's kind of... It's a room full of shelving. And as you go through, there seems to be a lot of uh, different small items on each of the shelves. And, like, there's a, set, a couple set of chops in there. And then there's a bunch of different, uh, there's some masks, there's some buttons, there's brooches, there's, uh, some rings. Uh, did there's the a pair of shoes. 
Did they do any loan sharking? Is this collateral? There is, and they all are presented nicely on each of the shelves. Or is shelves. there either, yeah. yeah, is there either records or names or... There doesn't seem to be, but there's a chair in the middle of the room, and this is where the second fireplace seems to lead to. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a bottle and a glass next to it where a person could sit on a like a nice carpet and just look at glasses and all sorts of different random objects. So Do I have a reason to think that someone was like just vacated this chair when we opened the door? Uh, no. Nope, just his stripper room yeah, staring at his winds. Yeah, th this seems to be his whatever lounging room. Anything magic? Room. Yeah. I mean... There's magic, but it's mostly mm -hmm. utility stuff. There's nothing, like, there's a broken blade in there. There's, it's literally a I mean, bunch of... Bob has watched Critical Role, so we gotta take the broken blade. <laughs> there, There's literally <laughs> just a bunch of junk in there that's doesn't seem to be... Well, there were chops, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take those. And none of it seems to be too terribly valuable. It's just a bunch of items on the shelf. That's relatively well lit that he can sit and stare at. Oh, wow. Speak with that isn't a ritual. So I can't even ask him. Mm. Bring him up and just taunt him over his dead body. Well, the body's on a, been animated. His now. undead body. His body's been animated. I don't know if you can speak with dead, the animated corpses. Probably not. That'd be hilarious if you just start yelling at a vampire. A dead corpse. To a corpse of your choice. The corpse must uh, can't be undead. It's right there in the list. It's yep. So he's free from that. <laughs> ah! Vampire, answer me these questions. <laughs> <laughs> Speak with dead. I cast it on the vampire. No. <laughs> you could just talk to me like a regular person, you <laughs> jerk. <laughs> Shut up, corpse. Now talk. <laughs> talk, I can tell you. <laughs> this is rude. <laughs> I pay my taxes. I'm a good person. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, literally start if we're looking for any after that's done. Do we want to bring any of the furniture or should we kind of break it down a little to see if nope. there's any secret compartments? Because well, if there's any desk. Uh, I mean not really. <laughs> Double check uh, the vault to see if it's got any secret compartments or. Okay, uh, investigation check. Yes. Yeah. Guidance. Right. And shouldn't if you want to help, you can. Yeah, and, and I'm just wondering what you're doing instead of me. Yeah, whatever. You can, you can do it. I, I was just trying to. <laughs> okay. Push it forward. Will you, will you help me so, then? So, so are you guidancing? <laughs> the the guidancing me. Oh, I get the thing. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Did you see it? I saw it move, and then it just went <laughs> and fell. That's that's still only one layer lower with the nineteen before it was a twenty sliding down, and then fell over twenty. Yeah. But the nineteen will do uh, for twenty two plus five is twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty. Okay. As you go through the vault and you look, uh, in examining each item, mm -hmm. you kind of get the sense for who he was. All of these items were triumphs or things that he overcame. And whilst they all meant something to him, the thing that probably meant the most was you find a small pair of shoes. Like children's shoes. The first kid I killed. And they're old, they're worn, they're mucky and they were like mucky and disgusting at one time but they've been cleaned and preserved and well cared for at this point and as you lift them up you notice that the heel is a little loose and as you take it out there's a small coin inside with the balance blades logo on it that's just a small platinum coin about this big in the bottom of these children's shoes like in the heel. It's not like proper coinage. No. 
And the coin is not magical. The coin does not appear to be magical, no. Do you think it's a token to maybe activate or open something? Activate or open something, or to claim... And, and you mentioned, oh, this seems like a significant... Like, from its either position or the care is what makes me feel like this was notable. From where it's positioned in relation to the chair, it seems like when he's sitting down, it would have been in the middle of his vision. Like, it's it, the centerpiece without it being highlighted in such a way. It it could have something to do with basically just taking over. Like, mm. from which the I claim control. Because we have nothing that necessarily says that he started this game, right? Um, uh, of the information that we've already gained. No, you okay. d- haven't heard anything about him actually starting the game. So it could be to do with how... Gang was controlled. I, I murdered the old leader's daughter, and he gave me the gang. I don't know why I thought the gr- shoes were girl shoes. Mm, just kid shoes. Yeah. Uh, describe. Oh, that's why. First thought that popped in my head was Necromancer's daughter. That's why. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That that that'd be like a uh, interesting object to do a legend lore on. Just keep it with you till you get that ability. <laughs> I'm not getting that. <laughs> That'd be something for him to pick up. Yeah. Right, it's like I have standards. No, <laughs> no, I have limitations. Mm. Oh, legend words a spell, not a bard ability. Yeah, yeah. it's a spell. Yeah, right, okay. But bards can get it. It's occasionally mm. neat, but it's kind of a waste for a bard to use a. Oh, yeah, I, I could get it, but it's, you know, ninth it's level. It's very on theme. <laughs> this is ninth level, too. Yeah, no, it's a very yeah. powerful spell. I feel like we're going to have to give it a not, shot not before character it. level. Yeah. Not, oh, okay. Not spell level. Yeah, but we're going to have to take over first, so if it is that, I mean, we're gonna, we're just going to either have to go pay for a legend lore or just try it. But the real question is... Do you or do you not take the magical room? <laughs> uh, does it have like a magical base? or like, how No. Is... Why would it need a base? No. It's Part just charging? It charge it? We are 100% taking this. Yeah, we're, we're taking can, this. Can we assess what this is for? Because I think we have someone that needs this. What, the magical Roomba? Yeah, I, 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 like a device that keeps an area clean? Yeah, yeah. for Sparty. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's a magical <laughs> Roomba. And also, what do you mean? We're filling the bags till the bags are holding to their birth thing with all the clothes, all the everything, and then shoving all the stuff. We're not leaving anything not nailed down behind. We'll make Spartacus sell this all, then give him a magical Roomba as compensation. Okay, so the rest of you leave with the reasonable amounts of stuff. Someone's going to be busy for a few days. What do you mean? I have boys do it. <laughs> oh, they're strangely uh, occupied. <laughs> no, we, we, they're busy. We're, we have stuff for them to do. We have taken a reasonable amount of stuff right. where we can get valuable money. Listen. We're not going to be you know, coppering and silvering our way through <laughs> selling his possessions. Would you stop Skyriming <laughs> the shit out of this? <laughs> okay, fine. Only the utility magic stuff. Alright, but we're going to use yeah. this house to store our cheese wheels. Uh, and all, all the uh, bourbon or whatever. Well, you know, he's loading that into a bag. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's a goodly amount of bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's bourbon. Uh, about... 7,000 gold worth of bourbon. It would be more, but someone drank the centerpiece. Mm. Yeah, I didn't drink all of it. I pocketed the rest of it. Shockingly not worth much as much now when you have half a bottle. <laughs> yeah. You unsealed the centerpiece. Yeah. And you probably drank only like less than a quarter of a bottle because you're a small fairy. Yes. yes. <laughs> No, as much no. as you get shit for drinking a lot, you really don't drink a lot. I specifically did this for the sheer spitting on the grave quality of it. <laughs> uh, he... Spitting on the we need money for magic item and for paying off a debt. Would would you be surprised if I said this was more important? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he's a warlock. I'm not. I'm anger. not local. I didn't know that that one was more valuable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, none of you really <laughs> would have known. And also, he has it. So if he didn't tell you. We no, never I just it. took one of the bottles. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Just took a bottle. Yeah. yeah. He, he got to it first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, well. 
So if I, we take the reasonable amount of stuff that can be looted out and not his clothes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I took some of his clothing. Well, yeah. But, but no, not to be sold for, you know, copper. No, no. <laughs> it, was, it was to add to my collection. Yeah. So, let's head on back. Yeah. With my little swarm around me, heading back through the sewer. And it's like, might as well close it up. We yeah. Know how, we know how to get back in. Mm-hmm. And we have keys. Yep. Close and lock all the secret doors in the basement and all that. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Make his bed. Okay. There's a goodly portion of blood on it. Make his bed. Press okay. digitation. Press digitation. You put the Roomba on the bed and it just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> scurries around. <laughs> Good job, Roomba. Ah, uh, Roomba, we, we must bring this to all our crime scenes to clean up after us. I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Remember, I'm like that funny once. Real annoying if you keep having a stupid solution to all stuff. No, no. Well, God well, thinks that's funny. God of utility items thinks no, it's funny once. we become once. like the wet bandits, but now everyone knows everywhere we've ever been. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the clean bandits. <laughs> Now We're they the know. sticky bandits. Now they know it was us. <laughs> Literally. Someone keep doing clean this. I know this person. They do not keep their house this clean. <laughs> they really cleaned up after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've gathered all the stuff. Uh, there's... If you're just going to sell the utility items, I'm just going to... Yeah. If it's like kitchen knives and stuff. Yeah, it's like kitchen knives... A, a kettle, a, a teapot that heats up, uh, like instantly heats up, so you can make instant. Tea. I mean, if there are just things that we don't have around where we need them, I mean. Yeah, I mean, if there's an instant hot water thing that you do, like with boop, hot water. Yeah. For like tea and things like that. Anything that would add to our convenience, we keep. Anything that's just extra, we sell. Or duplicate, because, yeah. Yeah. So you basically have about. Oh, a thousand gold worth of random utility items. Okay. Oh, and an extra cleaning stone. Well, we'll keep the cleaning stone. Yeah, we have that. places where those are not. <laughs> yes. Well, oh, well, how big are the cleaning stones? They're about... Ah. Uh, mm, okay. We need them smaller and, like, doorknob shaped. <laughs> I, I, I know there's one that's personal size. Yeah, well, it's about the size of a bar, so... Yeah, that those are expensive. Mm-hmm. This is the bigger one. Yeah. This ain't the one about the size... So you can get that into... Make that into, like, a doorknob shape. But are like, go... <laughs> Every time you open the door, you're clean. Yep. That, that feels like what Spartacus would want. <laughs> so it wouldn't be on the inside, it would be on the outside. So yeah, no, one if anyone ever them. goes into his area, he wants them clean first. <laughs> yeah, no, that's... That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Sick of all the, the dirty bar patrons where he hangs out. Just fit it on the door entering the bar. <laughs> For this coin, though, and it's like that's kind of a knowledge history trick, but it's also kind of like an underworld history type thing. And we have none of those. We didn't buy those with points. Mm-mm. So, first, we would ask our necromancer friend who probably doesn't know. Um, and then we would get one of the blades and ask them. Also, do we want to start assassinating their lieutenants now? Well, because we ma- were told they were going to be loyal, even if the head's dead. Yeah, and say we we've got at least Molly working on the location of the source. And that's their loyal to the coin. Yeah. If we figure out something that... I could be stupid. I've been stupid before. And it's like, if this coin's just nothing, or... Yeah. Well, if we have... The uh, Rogue Boys are doing any trade right now, are they? No. Have them kidnap a random blade. No. Well, yeah. a, ra- a rando's probably not going to get us what we want. We probably need yeah. a named one, and we can... Okay, then the sorcerer, when yeah. we know her location. Yeah, and we're already working on her, so she's good enough. Yeah. 
But yeah. <laughs> there might be a way other than killing the lower level down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if we want. But otherwise, head on back to a home base. Yep. Uh, what time is it by the time we get home? By the time you're done scrimping and scrounging and grabbing everything, it's probably about five in the morning. Oh, okay. And travel and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Stay up through the And day. we know, uh, these sewers connect to our other sewers, right? I'm unclear whether the different district sewers connect. Uh, some do, some don't. Some it's hard to te- uh, find the spot. And some it's just a longer distance. Do we travel. know how to get to the spot in our area where we have our holding pen? Yes. Okay. Not from... Uh, the balanced blade sewers. That's what I mean. Not from there. You can do it from the. Uh, did, no, you didn't map out the horse's head district. No. Yeah. So there's a whole region of sewers between the two of them that you don't you don't have mapped out. Yeah, we spent a lot of time in the slums mapping those sewers. And yeah. So yeah, we, we know our home district, and you have. A decent portion of uh, the Red Horse. No, no, all of the Red Horse, all the slums, and portions of because this would be the third time. Yeah, portions of the Balance Blades. Area. Balance Blades, but none of the. So horses. as we get near near that en- that guys. entrance, which is that entrance is near the horse's head. I was like, so how do we get these back to our pen? Cloaks. <laughs> there was an abundance of cloaks. Just... I look at the like the the swarm of limbs. Oh, those. Uh, <laughs> they're all in debt. Put them in your bag. Your bag is currently stuffed full of junk. Yeah. Both of them? We have two bags of holding. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, here's some sacks. <laughs> there were just mundane bags. But, again, <laughs> zombie that's can- very heavy. <laughs> zombie carrying bag of limbs. <laughs> What's wrong with your friend there? Ah, he just got off a long shift at the library. You know how they like to hire the weird people. And it's 5 a.m.? How close are we to our uh, red horse? You're a couple hours. Yeah, Yeah. you're about an hour and a half. Because it's district to district. Yeah, you're a district away. You're... But but remember, because our entrance where we go in is right near the the horse's horse's head. head. Not the bar, but the district, yeah. It's in the Balanced Blades area, because you didn't map out the horse's head s- and, sewers. And then the Red Horse is another district or over. over. yeah. Okay. Uh, just have them hang around these sewers an, until we bring over the... Uh, you're about an hour away from the horse's head bar. And it's five. People are moving about. Like, there's yeah. bakers. You, you can still control them from any distance. So yeah. You can just leave just them Just have them hang out in the sewers. They are uh, connected to your orb. How, can only one fit in that little pluggy bit? Uh, yeah. But you do remember what you keep telling me about the uh, proper way to use the uh, boneless. Just you have a yeah. zombie. Yeah, but that's one bonus with the zombie with and Coco. carrying a sack of feet. Okay, so I can get a couple. Yeah, you're out. smart enough to figure yeah. out how, how to uh, get the three. Angle so I can get one, one, you know the zombie and one of each of the other ones over down to our pen. Yeah. So without uh, too much trouble. I mean, it's weird, but it's also five in the morning. Yeah. We, we have a very small person just slugging back whisk brandy. Bourbon. Slugging bourbon. Back, bourbon. Back, it's like, you've been drinking that for like an hour. How is it still there? It's going down this much. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's, a, that's a good point. Um, he's going to be kind of weird. Can I see a bit of that? And just kind of like, like because it has a strong oh, yeah. smell, yeah, just kind of douse a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't the just think he's a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, Urban perfume. 
<laughs> just looking at Vesco and that feels nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this pleases me. This pleases my, nice. my dark little soul. <laughs> pour one out for the dead guy. <laughs> no, he doesn't get me. <laughs> well, you poured it on. Oh, yeah, I poured it on him to make it smell like it. Yeah. Yeah, he's a drunk guy. Okay, so you make our way up. Yeah. Make our way back, get them down into the pen. Um, Oh, it's hard. It's and like once they're in our sewer, I can obviously telepathically control yeah. them to actually get to the pen. And since they're through the orb, you don't have to go down and yep. do them every day. So, yeah. Yep. Which makes it, it... I don't know if that was delivered before me in my character or just a coincidence, but it's really nice for actually being able to do... Oh, no, that was a wild coincidence. The necromancer has okay. been a character for a long time. Because <laughs> I have not bothered with, with animating a course to my... Other, other than, like, for a quick... Okay, now I got him, and now he's gone. <laughs> and now, now he's in rage mode because I'm not spending that spell slot every single day. Surely I'm not taking the time to go over there every single day. <laughs> uh, there's that too. So do we want to do the meeting with sleep or just stay up through the day? I only need I mean, to take you four have hours. about four hours until the meeting. Uh, you can break a long rest for one hour without resetting it. That is a, one of those standard rules that you can mm-hmm. do. Uh, I would point out that you have a bunch of magical items that you could also could spend time identifying. Is the innkeeper up? The innkeeper is up. Nice. I smacked that bottle and go, here you go. I drank a little bit. wasn't very good. And the rest of it we used to make a guy smell like a drunk guy. But you can have the rest. He just, like, <laughs> looks at you, like, <laughs> completely disbelieving. And he opens it and smells it, and you see, like, his eyes dilate. He goes, and you wasted it? Not all of it. It just goes up the roof. Don't worry. I don't know what I did to you. <laughs> don't, don't worry, the guy who owned that. I mean, it must have been it. something really nice, because he did just give him some. Well, it's not much for a sale, for a thing for someone this to have. This isn't even a nice thing. You did this to hurt me. <laughs> I did this to hurt the guy who used to own it, yeah. <laughs> I did this to hurt multiple people. <laughs> so efficient. <laughs> As he pour, like goes and gets a really nice glass out. And pours Besides, if that some. was still sealed, you'd never open it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Profoundly true. Thank you. It's like, if that was still closed, you'd never touch it. And he just like takes a drink and just... And look what happened to the last guy. He died. <laughs> he got the game to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> As you wander upstairs, he's or you're sitting there. He's just sipping, so happy. <laughs> oh yeah, because you'll sit there and stare at him dead eyed for four hours now. <laughs> Enjoy life, friend. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, you guys now, have four hours. Somebody commented thinking that we can double identify. How many pearls do we have? Just one. Pass back and forth. So both hand, hold your hand. You've up. got a uh, stasis crystal as well with yeah. the chest in it. Recall. Mm-hmm. So probably in the meeting room. Yeah. Yeah. Just go up to meeting. We'll sleep tonight. <laughs> Exhaustion will kick in for a while. Um, and heck, we uh, slept until the night. That's right. Yeah. <coughs> so we're all not- except for Ryan. Okay. Or was that a different time that we did this that you didn't? Uh, no, no, that, that was right. I did stuff for Muse, and Ryan was trained with boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, Ryan, Ryan didn't sleep. So neither did I. Yeah, that's fine. That's but fine. My, 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 my sleep routine doesn't take that long, and I can take a level of exhaustion and sleep later. Yeah. I can sleep later in the day. So, hang out in room till meeting, identifying different stuff? Yeah, because we got... Uh, armor. Do you still have um, the uh, thing with the chest? Hold Dispel on. magic if needed? Uh, I have no more slots of that, nor do I have uh, d- or I, do I? Yes, I do still have identified prepared. <laughs> but I am out of third level slots. Well then probably not the chest yet. Okay. That feels like it could, it, there's a chance that it's a bad thing. Could be. So that's probably going to be ready to handle. Um, but always identifying. Which is like 11 minutes per. One God, minute identify, two minutes ritual. I thought it was an hour. 
Th that's if you don't use the spell. Yeah, that's okay. That's to, to oh. use the short rest to. Okay. Yeah. You can just you can just identify as a short rest. Okay. So yeah. So you can identify short rest. You can you know yeah, ritual minutes. it as eleven minutes, or you can use a spell slot for one minute. Okay. So what do you identify? Uh, tattoo needle. Armor, armor. Uh, uh, the tattoo needle is uh, absorbing uh, tattoo for lightning. It's a lightning uh, absorption lightning tattoo. Arm. What? You were playing the lightning bolt for yeah. a little bit there. Yeah, I thought that would be real funny. Uh, okay. Absorb some lightning damage. Would not absorb uh, the scorching rays to the face, though. Yeah. So you did the armor? Yeah. Is just plus two uh, studded leather armor. Hmm. It's just painted a very dark color. What else? So you've got two. Uh, you did. Uh, hand crossbow. It is the dragon wing hand crossbow. Uh, amethyst color. I'm guessing that's from. Fizzbattens, yeah. I imagine. Yep. Yeah. Dragons. That's why I guessed that. Uh, so, yeah. da, da, da. Yeah, needle tattoo, crossbow, black set of armor, and a bunch of standard clothing. What's well, his holdout dagger magical? Uh, yeah, we're. Do we get any. Do we need to identify his. Um, well, you. Sword or bandolier? Because we. Have, the sword, sword is, is a plus, plus one. one. Bandolier is a bandolier of returning, which means any weapon in the sheath returns when thrown. Okay. Uh, the sword is also a plus one. And the dagger? Or the dagger and the sword, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Short sword, plus one. Uh, let's see. After, like, two bandoliers in, and they all come up with that, I just start... Gently tossing swords out of them to see if they pop back. Okay. Good old fighter. Because none of the masks, button brooches, rings, or any of that in the vault were of any magic. Yeah, correct. Okay. Um, well, I guess you could uh, identify the Roomba, but we kind of know what it does. We're guessing, but yeah, it gets. On the list. <laughs> yeah, it's like we can identify it just to make sure we know what it does. Uh, so the dragon wing hand crossbow does. Okay, that answers that question. I need to go back to what I was actually doing. Don't mind me. I'm just. I'm a little special. <laughs> it is in. Uh, well, I know it's in D and D Beyond. Let me see what book it's actually in. Uh, it's Fizzbin's Treasury of Dragons so it uh, is infused with the essence of a amethyst dragon so when you attack using it it deals an extra 1d6 uh, force damage mm -hmm. uh, and it doesn't require ammunition it, Here's produces, your produces, yeah, it, it produces its own ammunition super neat it has it requires attunement. Are hand crossbows already 1d6 or 1d4? They're uh, a d6. They're yeah. a d6. They're okay. So your 2d6 laser gun. I mean, that's better than my crossbow. So yeah, can use bolts is not required. Mm -hmm. Yes, in case you ever get those plus 1 to 3 ammunitions. Yeah, for when you really want something dead. Okay, so you've got uh, cool. the crystal with the chest in it, yep. and uh, that's everything else identified, right? Yeah, because we wanted to wait until we had rested to mess with the uh, the actual minutes. crystal, yeah, okay. the secret chest. So do you guys? Because we don't know what's in it. Stay Probably up. treasure. Do you stay up until uh, tonight? Yeah. The meeting, or are you staying up overnight? Or 
Right now, I'm only committing to staying up until the meeting. Um, okay. But because it kind of depends on what we decide in the meeting. Excellent. Okay, so you have all that. I don't need. I'm getting rid of the things that I've written down, so remember everything I've told you. All right. And we came away with what, like, one thousand five hundred in cash. Uh, we got more than that because we also sold the uh, utility items, which gave us well, an additional. Well, we are giving thousand. to Spartans yeah, yeah, to yeah. sell. You, you will get yeah. that money. I'm just. We can't hand that yeah. money out. Oh. This meeting. For, yeah. For right. that. Yeah. No, I knew you found 500 loose in his room, then the 1,000 from selling stuff. I didn't know if we had another block of change in Well, there. you found a bunch of bourbon. Yeah, I found yeah. 7,000 gold worth of bourbon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing that we need to sell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and we'll go ahead and make sure that the innkeeper gets first dibs on whatever he would like to purchase. <laughs> right at first refusal. Mm-hmm. On things I can actually sell, because they're sealed still. Yeah. So he will get first pick. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's my notes on it. Okay, so as you uh, hang out, uh, you notice that Spartacus apparently shows up about 15 to 20 minutes before the meeting starts, and he has a tray with him. He's just, you're all just in there waiting for him. He's like, oh, uh... Food! Yes. And he starts <laughs> just setting the plates as he does... Um, does he see and if so recognize the Roomba? Is it just like it's just, it's just out with all the like, like it is a bit of a chaotic of we've just kind of piled the stuff around. <laughs> yeah, as he's looking, he's just. There's also a full size cleaning stone on the table. <laughs> he picks up the Roomba, puts it on the ground, and pushes one of the gems, and it just goes and starts zooming off. And you note that. It hovers a little bit off the floor, and it doesn't stay there. It does walls and ceilings, too. <laughs> so the room starts becoming appropriately clean, according to some people's standards. <laughs> what do you do? You never dust the ceiling. It's upside down. Dust can't stay on that. Nope, you gotta dust the ceiling. <laughs> dust can 100% stay on the ceiling. I'm sorry if you don't think that. Well, we almost all have popcorn seal. Yes, is one way to catch I it. But also, if it's slap boards, there there are you know differences between the boards. Or, now, there's all sorts of ways where dust can stay on areas of the scene. For example, also cobwebs. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Very cool. Okay, so everyone starts uh, showing up, and as everyone shows up, all of a sudden Molly bursts in the room. Not even late. Just, she seems very excited and goes, Good news! I know where the caster for the balanced blades is. Wonderful. Good. We still need to know that. What do you mean, still? Yeah, we I killed the guy. I worked really hard. Like I said, we still yeah. gotta kill that. I That's found next, her. That's our next in charge. That's You got her just in time. Yeah, we still gotta kill that one. Yeah, well, Maybe. hopefully before she you know knows we killed the boss. Molly just kind of goes and sits down. <laughs> A little pouty. <laughs> it's like we're all encouraging her. We never them. found that one. <laughs> Starts picking up and throwing coins at the room by as it's zooming around <laughs> the room. So we're going to stop that. <laughs> we have Hold on, short swords not, now. No, no. I, I do take a short sword out, take a dagger, put it in, and toss it. You put the dagger in your short sword? Dagger in, in the, the short sword sheath. Yeah. It, it sticks into the wall. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if it had to be a short sword or anything you sheath in this sheath. I mean, it has to actually fit in the sheath. Mm-hmm. Daggers don't fit. Blade goes in, handle stops it. I say it fits, but yes. I'm a... <laughs> I've never had that problem, sorry. <laughs> Your handle doesn't stop the blade? This metaphor has gotten away from you. <laughs> <laughs> we all know you're being, you're being gross, but... I don't know. I, I try it. I essentially uh, take uh, the um, Hale's uh, short sword bandolier that I've got. Okay. And I go ahead and uh, toss the blade, basically just kind of flip it in front of me, and then try to recall it to the scabbard. What, just leave it, like, flip it into the air? Yeah, I'm just, like, flipping it in front of me so I can catch it in case it doesn't do it. Oh, 
yeah, it uh, flips into the air and goes. <laughs> so it's like it's uh, per act. Like if you have two attacks, you can throw both for both attacks. Oh, okay. If so that was the question. Oh, okay. So it's not after a timer. It is an activation. You have to yeah, it's not like it t- returns to you at the beginning of your next turn. It's okay. it will return after each attack. Hmm. But still won't do daggers. No. Gotcha. It, it's, it, they're the balanced blades, not the balanced daggers. <laughs> I just want to sit there with little swords on our uh, fingers. But it, it seems uh, it seems the boss uh, had a uh, stockpile for, I guess, new members. So we got a few of these to hand around in case anybody wants to use them. Or to infiltrate the gang. Yeah, there's that too. Before we dismantle it. <laughs> so. We, we tell them of our escapades of taking down the Balance Blades boss, and here's all the stuff you need to sell Spartacus. <laughs> oh, okay, boss. <laughs> it's like, uh, you want me to give the bottles to uh, the innkeeper, see what he wants? Because I would note that this would probably buy out the debt that we're in. More so. <coughs> yeah, uh, if we've got any uh, left over, you can also um, check and see if uh, the um, uh, the twins over at the, the uh, horses had one any. All right. Because I'm sure they too would appreciate some. Mm-hmm. You know a goodly number of people who have expensive taste that might appreciate it. Yep. We could even save a bottle and make it some prize at the extortium, I guess. Well, or just bribe him whiskey. Mm. I, I hear people... <laughs> yeah, Kentucky. You gotta get that bribing whiskey. <laughs> That's how you get a, a speeding ticket in t- fancy Kentucky. <laughs> get that bribing whiskey. Sorry, <laughs> officer, would you like some whiskey? <laughs> All I'm saying is, you compared one of them to, what, Papa Van... Uh, Papa Van... Happy Van Winkle. Yeah, Happy Van Winkle. And a whole lot of political things were being charged with bribing them with that. <laughs> yeah, So, but that one's already gone. Yes, mm-hmm. that one is Disappeared. gone. Disappeared. Could, could, could I offer you a drink, officer? And he's like, mm, what are you? Oh, you're drinking the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have that drink. <laughs> okay, so you're going to have Spartacus sell everything except for the bourbon you're going to try and negotiate with the innkeeper to use the bourbon to get rid of the debt that it's owed. Yeah, that sounds good. If we can clear our debts and... And with that, what, would that matter. increase a percentage of... Because is, is the current... With the current debt, he, he's taking a percentage of... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if we can clear that debt and get more money coming in, that'll mm-hmm. be able oh, to go I, towards I, I, us... Financing ourselves and getting rid of Abbott's debt. Yeah, I thought it was just we owe him that four thousand, and he also has like a percent for five years. I did not know it was percent till he paid it. That was until we could like renegotiate or something. But if we can pay it off, then currently it's basically you're paying him five percent for permanent usage of his entire uh, his entire upstairs. So like all the rooms up yeah. here are basically your own. So once we've paid it off, we could move to another building. Well, you could also renegotiate or move out or something. But he was a person of influence in the cell, so that's part of, like, yeah. you basically mm-hmm. included him in the gang. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And Spartacus uses him for a lot of logistics type stuff because this is where he hangs out and hangs runs out. all of those mm-hmm. boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Might as well make it official. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm sorry do that. Um, does we have anyone that's not busy? Uh, Steve was building practice. Abbott's working on cookies. Uh, Molly was tracking down the caster who she found. Doomstairs making blasting powder and training wizards. So that's mm-hmm. him and, uh, uh, Reed. Anders. Yeah. yeah, Anders Reed. And Jake's working on recruiting more boys. Mm-hmm. So is it just Molly that's now? Yeah, Molly's free. Unless you want to pull Abbott off cookie duty. Well, uh, we or need, have Hannah look into the... Yeah, we, we hand uh, whatever the coded uh, documents over to him and see Anders. see whether or not him or uh, Hannah can make uh, heads or tails of it. Okay. And then also with the 
chops, which we've kind of worn, these may be old and no longer relevant, but if there's a way to find it, they were in kind of a trophy room. On the chops and uh, da, 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 coded books. Yep. So we got that. Okay. Uh, yeah, everybody else. This is in. Wednesday, right? Uh, yeah, Wednesday morning. Okay. So, yeah. So, there to work on that. So, are Jake is still working on recruiting then? Yeah. Until that well is tapped. Well, basically, I want uh, to get a few more people so we can start training paladins. Uh, Spartacus is still working on logistics at the quarry. Yeah, and that was what he was. Uh, saying. If able to, while also making sure the stuff gets sold. With oh yeah. His, yeah, he's got to sell with his. Stuff I mean, he has plenty of people for him, so he may be able to do both. But yeah, because he has little lady in armor. Like I think she has red hair. I don't remember. She was there as part of our evac team. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I do not remember Spartacus's uh, lieutenant. lieutenant's name, and I don't know Steve's. I don't believe you've ever been introduced to Spartacus's lieutenant. We've met her, but I don't think we've been introduced. Yeah. No. I actually have to look up her name. Yep, there it is. She has one, don't worry. Yep, she has one. It's written right here. Otherwise, anything else for the morning meeting? Uh, well, we gotta give Molly a, uh, something to do. Well, does she want to go with us going after the mage? Is that the plan uh, for tonight? Sleep during the day and be ready for that? Sure, I'll the iron side. Well, I mean, obviously, right? Yeah. A unless we want to see whether or not Molly can, Mo Molly and Hammerstein would be able to pull up any information about this coin. Does that seem like their strong point? Uh, Hammerstein, maybe. It's they're something that they are capable of doing, but it's not something that uh, Molly in particular is <coughs> super good at. Hammerstein would probably be a better option. Because my thought is, I want to have it with us. Because I mean, if if we get a chance while she's conscious, we can just try and use it. Well, well so we do, he, we, he could we, he could take a charcoal rub of it. I mean, yeah, wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't, like you, that. wouldn't the smart move to be like show up at her and be like throw the coin at the table be like now who you work for now and the, it's really obvious is if she bends then we can bend the rest of the gang if she doesn't we kill her and the rest of the gang yeah. I don't like the idea of throwing it on the table so much as holding it up because I don't like the idea of her going me <laughs> and, I mean, then we, and just, then, then we just blast. And then grabbing her her teleportation stone and she's gone. And now <laughs> she think, runs the game. I think I've. I think I've you broken us. You <laughs> have broken us, Bob. <laughs> we are broken players. That's what counter spells for. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to figure all of that out <laughs> next time. Like, comment, subscribe, stick around, check out other content on the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye.